Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about why Fibonacci numbers are important in nature. To review, Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers starting with 0 and 1 where each of the following numbers is a sum of the previous two. So we have 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, and then we have 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. And so the list continues. The fascinating thing about this sequence is that it is naturally found throughout the whole universe, from the formation of galaxies and hurricanes to the way leaves grow on a stem. One of the most common ways we see the Fibonacci sequence in nature is in spirals. Take a look at this pattern. It may not be obvious at first, but if you take a close look, you will find that there are multiple spirals here in different directions. If this is a true Fibonacci pattern, then the number of spirals when added up will always be a Fibonacci number. For example, if we count the number of spirals going in this direction, we will find that there are 21 of them when we add them up, and 21 is one of our numbers. Or we could count the spirals going in this direction, in which case we would get 34 total spirals. And that, of course, is also one of our numbers. Or there's a third way we could count it going this way, in which case we would get 55 total spirals, which is also one of our numbers. Now that you know what a Fibonacci spiral is and what it looks like, take a look at this pine cone. Do you see how it resembles the same spirals? The same is true of almost all pine cones. If you count their spirals in any direction, you will get a Fibonacci number. Another way that Fibonacci numbers appear in nature is in the way animals reproduce, like rabbits and honeybees. For example, if a female honeybee lays an egg and it is unfertilized, then a male will hatch. So each male bee has one, only one parent. If the egg is fertilized, then a female will hatch. So all female bees have two parents. Now let's imagine one male bee. Since he's a male, he has only one parent, a female. Since this is a female, she has two parents, a female and a male. This female also has two parents. but this male only has one. Let's do one more row of parents. This female has a female and a male parent. This male only has one female parent. And this female has a female and a male parent. Can you tell where this is going? If we add up the bees in each generation, we get 1, 1, 2, 3, and 5, which is the beginning of our list of Fibonacci numbers. And if you continue drawing the parents, the list will continue. That's just two examples of how the Fibonacci numbers are important in nature, and there are many more. My name is Eugenia, and thanks for watching.